Day was better. It was better. Yeah, some, you know, but I just say he's better. Do you have any experience with the kind of thing he's dealing with? If so, like, what, what's the. Yeah, you know, I mean, he just like. Yeah. A lot of guys have injuries, unfortunately, yeah. so, you know. But he's got enough experience, so we'll just. They say day by day. Could he uh, could he go off just mostly a week of mental reps? Would you feel comfortable? Yeah, I mean, I'll make that decision on Friday. You know, um, after tomorrow or so. How do you put a game plan together though with three different quarterbacks that have three different types of skill sets? What's the challenge? I've always had that, anyways. You know, like they know the plays that they're going to have when they go in. You know, certain things that, that they've wrapped that are, you know have a menu. Obviously the. The menu is not as large as, as the starter, so I've always, unfortunately, you know, used to not worry about the backup, but, you know, it happened when I was head coach at UMass. We lost two guys in the first quarter, so just just more injuries to quarterbacks nowadays with the speed of the game, and everybody's throwing it a little bit more, so, uh, you know, so those, you know, today was better than yesterday. Yesterday was good. Today was better than yesterday for those guys, for, for – uh, Logan and and uh, <clears throat> Chuba, and then we got to you know, then you go to the next guy who's that. That's the one you worry about if you have to go down now to the third guy. And the next guy would be Masker. No, probably. I'm not sure. If one of the guys got injured, so <laughs> you know, when it rains, it pours. So you know, but that'll be a limited, more of a limited menu. But you know. I talk to each of the guys separate that way, you know, with especially yesterday before practice and making sure we get the reps that they're comfortable with and the looks that they uh, that we think we're going to get that they'll see from, uh, uh, you know, from Minnesota. What was your message to uh, Chubb as you went through the film and, and how have you seen him bounce back this week? Well, I, I, I was I told the whole offense we were disappointed and Probably wasn't fair to Chuba. He did not practice the last two days of the week and really wanted to play. And because uh, he got hurt, and um, he's fine now. So going back, I don't know whether I should have or not. And that's why Logan went in the second quarter. In the second quarter, because I wasn't sure exactly where he was. And you know, when I looked at his eyes at halftime, he felt like he was good, but he wasn't really prepared mentally with with uh, was. But you know, I, I think you know. I think we let down when Casey went down, and I th and I think that it gave Illinois a boost, and um, you know, it's just something we got to deal with. So he got dinged a little last week. You, okay. Yeah, he didn't he didn't practice the last part of the week, so. Did you get Gabe Urban back this week at all? Yeah, I'm not sure. He's better. Kind of like the Casey's better, so. Mark, how much is it, if they're both healthy? How much of a difference is there in just the repertoire? There's some, you know, but it's also with the guys around, you know. It, it, it'll probably more entail how the game's going, you know, on, on those things. It's a completely different defense that we faced last week. So there's not much, there's not somewhat carry. There's carryover, but not really kind of the way that uh, Minnesota plays defense. And they're both really good, just two different styles. So, um, you know, that, that – we probably had a little bit more in last week because we had an extra week, but uh, we pared it down a little bit more. And it, as I said, there's not it's a, a complete different style. It's really what it comes down to. And both are really good. Both are really good teams. And they're going to run the ball. You limited limited chances, and uh, because of where the style is, and you know, you got to make the most of it. And that probably was the biggest disappointment last week was. We had the ball in the red zone and turn it over twice. We've been decent at that, and that flipped the game. Obviously, the, 
you, you know, don't come out with any points and, you know, turning a ball over there is, you know, you're not going to win many games that way, especially against the number one defense in the country. How do you feel about where uh, Logan is at in the throw? I, I thought he had his best two days. You know, I think it's someone when you're – that's just maybe natural when you're third. But he, the third guy gets reps in our, the way I, I do things. Not as many, but I, I told him, I said it was the best he looked that I've seen him since I've been here yesterday and, and today, both those two guys, you know. It's kind of like um, – so I'm pleased with that. Yeah, Logan's done, done, done well. What are those differences? How does that change the way you? Uh, Illinois is just a lot more man press and those things, and uh, Minnesota is a little bit more split safety and a little bit more different, more a few more different coverages, a little bit more variation on third down. You know, so and as I said both of them, do, you know, they've been established and both of them play really good defense. So uh, um, you know, we got to execute better and. What I've seen so far, it's been for the two days, it's been good. But as I told him last week, it's I didn't think our Thursday outside was very good, and the two days were really good, and that kind of showed up. So we got to have a really good day tomorrow. What do they do so well specifically on third day, stopping offenses as much as they do? On Early on in the season, they were so far ahead of the people that <laughs> they played a lot of zone and drop it. Yeah, he ate, you know, that way. But uh, you know, they mix it up and. They got their corners are really good, you know, established guys, and their safeties are really good tacklers, uh, inside baggers. They got a lot of experience, you know. They're big and strong and physical, and played that same way. I don't know how long PJ's been there, five years maybe now, four, but that's the same defense they've had. So there's, you know, structurally they're they're really sound and do do a really good job and uh, in the right places and. And they're very opportunistic when they get the chance to have the hands on the ball, they end up coming down with it a lot. Are you anticipating playing both Logan and Chubb? Kind of I, I, I'll, I'll see later on in the week. I want to make sure tomorrow. There's a good chance. There's a good chance. You know, um, Logan's got a little more experience, but they're both. As I said, I like, I like, I feel a lot better than I did when all of a sudden Casey went down last. It was kind of the one thing I didn't want to happen. And uh, not that I ever want that to happen, but, you know, so I feel better about it now. I don't feel good about the third guy, so, uh, you know, so, but that's football. So you just you get them ready and you play who's ready to play. What they show you in practice that makes you feel more comfortable? Well, carrying an execution and throwing it and management and a little buppy, a little more leadership. You know, it's hard for that second guy, third guy. So that 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 part, and just the way they're carrying themselves, and I spent a little more time with them yesterday. I don't know if that, you know, they practice good today. So just saying, here's the things we're going to do. And here, if you're not comfortable, they're different than Casey, and we've thrown some things out and added a couple things. So that that part, I've always felt like, hey, when a quarterback hears the play coming in and it's familiar and feels good about it, then then you're you're going to give a little more leadership, a little more confidence to the group, and I, I've seen that more so than I saw you know last Saturday. Anything else, guys? What has Chuba done this week, if anything, to better at least make the playoffs? He practiced. He didn't practice last week, so just that, that just you know getting the reps, that that part, and uh, um, and you know. Have a little more discussion. We had a really good meeting on Sunday, going over the stuff that way. Just him and I, no other quarterbacks, and where he's at that way. And told him I say, hey, man, we I believe you. Everybody in his team believes in you, so there's a good chance you'll be the starter. So take it that way. And and uh, you know, as I said, uh, you know, one game doesn't make a career. So we'll see how how it goes that way. For both of them and Logan, both of them. Logan had his chance at Iowa and did some really good things, and you know, so he's got experience. So, you know, I feel good about those guys, especially the way they've gone about their business this week. All right, great. All right. Good to see you. Thanks. Thanks.